don't want to be dragging a HSD. We don't want to be dragging a chaff cart. We don't want to be row burning. We don't want to be doing all this. We would rather be sitting in there with full bore getting the crop off. But look, if, if we don't do something at harvest in what I've seen in WA, what I've seen at home, it's, it's, all, right, it's all right for the older blokes in the audience, um, and like me, all right for the older blokes, but for the young fellas, Peter, I, I reckon if this bloke doesn't do something with harvest weed seed management in the next five to seven years, you're out of the game. Out of the game, Ray. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're out of the game. Because <laughs> Good thing he's an agronomist, that one. But <laughs> the, the weed seeds are calling the shots. Yeah. And I think that's what we've got to understand. The weeds are actually calling the shots. And we're engaged, we're engaged in a war with the weeds. And from my, my um, army... From my army days, and blow me down, I was in Wagga Wagga there, National Service, I was in Kapuka. In our, in, when we were in the army, we were, talk, we were taught to win the battles, and then you win the war. But see, we're in a, we're in a war with weeds, so we, we need to, to win the battles, which is all the things, the harvest weed seeds, manners, row spacing, competition, they're all the battles. And that's the way I see it. And look, it's got to change the mindset. Cutting low in six tonne crops, is not easy. And this is where the researchers have got to come in and start growing the dwarf crops, a little bit more dwarf. And I hear there's a wheat this morning that's 16 inches lower. And then you can get down and skid the ground and get 20 or 30% more weeds. And that's the way I see the whole big picture.